Powerful than normal. She just has exactly what you expect. Super fast strikes. A, you know, just a, a ton of normal combos. I love, I love the way she animates. But yeah, normal. overhead and low animation are all in there. Such a great job. She keeps you guessing. She has a, a pretty long move list. And then she has her throws. She has a lot of strings that can go into throws. She has this one here where that's, she can that's actually probably my favorite of restand you or do a couple of different options. Oh. If I can. There, you, <laughs> there go. you go. There you go. You just have to do it early. Yeah. That's why I was messing with it yesterday. Um, yeah, and this one leaves you standing instead of knocking you down. Just, are these like, uh, like, what, like, what are the inputs for some of these? They're all pretty simple. One, one, two, four, two, three. She is not a high execution. Character. So a lot of these are, are grabs that are at the end of. Yeah, it's they're the standard. Yeah, that's all you built just in. Do one, two, and then hit the throw button, and she'll do her throw. Gotcha. So up close, she basically just mixes you up with overheads and lows that are uh, low reward. They're not like launchers. They're just kind of quick strikes that go into throws. She she doesn't kill you with uh, overhead and low mix-ups that do a ton of damage. She kills you a little bit over time, or she goes into her special moves, which she has command grab. And it can be meter burn to get a combo. It's a, certainly more juggle focused. Yes. Uh, command grab character than Swamp Thing. Right. Swamp Thing, his command grabs just do a big chunk of damage. She just goes into a combo if you have a bar meter. Right? I mean, that's something you were saying earlier that, like, we have two command grab characters. And they're very, very they're different. so different. Now, this will beat anyone standing high, but they can duck it. So, you can see she has a low grab. And just like the high grab, she can meter burn it. That looks so cool. Oh, and then she gets a full combo too. Now that I look at the characters we chose for this, you probably couldn't pick two more opposite characters in the game. It's perfect, yeah. 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 It's, it's a great coincidence. Mm. They are both the same archetype, but they play totally differently. Mm. So in addition to her command grabs, she has this rising move, Primal Rage, <laughs> which is a great wake-up attack. It's a great combo ender. She can meter burn it for additional damage, and this is personally one of the coolest. It's vicious. Yeah, that I love the personality of her coming down doing it. It's interesting that you like a, another feline-based uh, character. I, I have my my archetypes I like. What can I say? You like cat-based female characters. That's pretty specific. But you're, you're not questioning his loyalty, though. He's still loyal right. to his other female Oh, that's true. That's true. Yes. Yeah. And then, that's everything that she can do up close. So then to help her from full screen, she has the Predator Pounce, which is a leaping attack. And you can hold it down and then release it when you want. Or you can actually cancel it. So you can fake the opponent out and use it for movement, or you can actually go into it. And off this, she has a couple options. She can do a short hop, she can do a medium range hop, or can she do a long range hop? And off this, she can do any of her jumping attacks, which are very, very good. You saw right there, that's a jump one cross yeah, three jump attack. Really fast. Really fast, right. And her jump attacks are very, very strong. Her jump one is very fast. It'll beat other jump attacks if she does it first. Her jump two is actually one of the rare jump attacks with multiple hits. Mm -hmm. Very good in combos, very good for air-to-airs. And her jump three has really good range and is active for a long time. So all three jump attacks are good and they all complement each other. By active, you mean? It means it actually will connect for a long amount of time. Like, her leg is sticking out and all while her leg is out, it can still connect. Gotcha. Yeah. And she also has a pounce, which she does in the air, which is kind of like a dive kick. It's very, very fast. It's an overhead, and she can do it at any time in her jump. She can do it low. She can jump back and do it. And she can do it for a pounce. She can even go the opposite way. So she can pounce over you and then dive bomb yeah. the other way. So it's like Michael said. She keeps mm -hmm. you guessing in the air mm -hmm. constantly. And she can meet her burn this to get a combo. Yeah, like, so doing a dive into that move, you can cover the entire screen. Right. Now, it is all unsafe. You can anti-error the pounce, mm -hmm. you can punish her on block, so it's high risk, but it's the way to get in close. Like, you can green thumb pounce. Exactly. Yeah. Right. You, you, you can get 1-1 one, one into a combo. So these are all ways to kind of control the sky and to get in close to then begin your offense. Yeah. Uh, another neat thing is her 4-3 is one of the rare ones that's actually double hitting. It's an overhead like all four threes, but it, it's pretty quick and it has two hits. Yeah. So it's really good for breaking armor, which is probably 
the number one thing you get salty about, let's be honest. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna put what I get salty about in any sort of order. Uh, that's, that's a good I point. I mean, there's 50 things I get salty about. That is, I would say it's top five. And her back re has a uh, pretty good range. It's probably- oh, Another animation looks just amazing. Oh, it looks absolutely yeah. awesome, yeah. And then uh, her character power is her Claws of Death, and this gives a damage buff for any claw-based attack. Which it's, turns out a lot of her attacks. It's a lot of her attacks. <laughs> it's a lot of her best up close attacks. And it's pretty substantial. Like, yeah, you can, you can put out a lot of damage. A lot of, da a lot of burst damage with that. But yeah. it, it doesn't last super long. It does so. not last too long. Yeah. And it has a cooldown. And so the idea is, do you want to activate it from full screen, then try to get in? Or do you want to knock the opponent down, turn it on, give up your momentum, but then you have it on. So it, if you're right and you get your offense going, you're going to do a ton of damage. Well, we've had a lot of times when you and I have played where I've tried to time it out. Yeah, yeah. Like, Absolutely. No one hits, it hurts. But. And her super move is also really cool because she travels full screen and it's super fast. So it's a great, yeah. great move if they miss on it. And of course, like any super move, it has armor. So a typical scenario when Tyler and I are playing is he'll do vine grab. And I duck it, and there you go. You're in a oh, lot yeah. of trouble. Watch that meter. Yeah. So she's one of those characters where when she has the four bars, it's exactly right. You have to sit there and, and really think about what you're doing. When, normally, when she doesn't have meter, you have to think about the air, and you have to think of her dashing, but full screen, she doesn't have a lot of options. When she has super, all of a sudden, she has a great option. All right. Excellent. Does that feel good? That, that's pretty good. I would say that's the... That's the uh, Quick rundown of Cheetah. She is uh, a lot of throw options. That's the main way she opens people up. That's her main source of damage. Is you're you're gonna have a little bit of a struggle at the mid range trying to get in. You're gonna have to dash. You're gonna have to jump. You're gonna commit to something dangerous. But when you get in, it's it's your turn. Yep. Awesome. And uh, she has a couple of abilities we wanted to show. Yeah. She's got some very cool ones. We picked a few. Again, like Not we all. talked about, yeah, yeah we're, we're going to show a couple things for each character when we do these breakdowns. want to leave some surprise for people, too. I yeah. don't actually know what we're showing, so I will be careful about what I mentioned. Exciting, yeah. <laughs> One of them is she has a torpedo move. Very, very fast. It'll hit almost full screen. Not quite, but almost. And this kind of complements what I'm talking about at mid-range, where she doesn't have a ton of options. If you're struggling against maybe Swamp Thing's range, mm -hmm or dead shots projectiles or something, you have this. And it could be meter burn for pretty good damage. And she'll yeah. actually notice- Good corner carry. Exactly, carry yeah. you very far away. We're just like Swamp Thing, she excels. And then the second it, one like she that has one? Yeah. <laughs> in this loadout. And by the way, I want to point out, I love the gear that she can change her tail. Well, that's, yeah, that's her so accessory, cool. right? Yeah. Yeah. Another, yeah, another character, I I think one of our best in the game, and I say that amongst really good looking characters, yeah. of the, the range of gear and like the some of the options you have. It's, I would may, may not have talked about this a lot, so each character has in, in their gear loadout, it has an accessory spot. And then you can look at that as sort of like, what's the iconic thing in a lot yeah. of characters, right? The Superman crest, the, yes. you know, that sort of thing. Hers is her tail. Is her tail, yeah. right. uh, Swamp Things is his weapon. His club, yeah. yeah. So the or, second or thing whatever it may be. Yeah, whatever it yeah. Is. we have on this loadout is an air grab. And it just complements her air attacks, which are already really good. It gives her a fourth air attack that's great. You can use it to anti-air. You can use it. <laughs> 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 you, know this. you can use it in combos, and it can be meter burn to do additional damage. And she can kind of bounce up. And then we have another loadout, which has two of my favorites. So one of the things I mentioned was some of her lows and overheads don't really lead to huge damage. They're more uh, pressure options, right? Yeah. And she has this, which it ends in a grab, but it begins with a low. The, the ability version allows her to meter burn, and then she can actually get a combo. You can even get a back three. Oh, wow. And that'll lead to big damage. So yeah. that actually makes her low combo starter even more powerful. And then she has the Predator Crawl, where she will quickly crawl around the screen. And it's similar to like a Melina Roll. It's a move, it's a high risk move that you can just do at any time. It's a very uh, Derek move. Yes. It's, yeah, yes. it's something where 
if you feel like a I don't think we even need to say it yeah. anymore. It's, it's implied. Once I said it's like mulling the roll, that kind of... Yeah, yeah and, and this is a move that it's it's very punishable, it's very risky, but the opponent is going to have to look out for it. And you can do it at any time. And you can actually meter burn it to get a combo. Get a good combo. Yeah. Cool. So her gear moves really complement her playstyle, depending on... You know, depending on what you're struggling against. So if, if you have someone that maybe it uses like Batman's batarangs to keep you out, right? This this move would be a great way to beat it. Yeah. It's low the whole time. It's yeah. Like low yeah. yeah. She goes very low the whole time. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's awesome. So that is Cheetah. That's Cheetah. Awesome. Um, here's the thing. Uh, we need to talk to the fans. Okay. So Derek, as we mentioned, is gone.